everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I have this. <clears throat> these all, these are all my leftovers. So I finished a couple of blankets. I, yeah, had some just from before. Um, it's, you know, falling out of the basket now, so I need to do something with it. Um, actually, thinking about it, it's a year ago that I was in the same situation and I started this blanket here, the famous scrap blanket. Um, this is uh, just a granny cluster, just lines of um, granny clusters. Um, and I only ever did one line of color. Um, I could do less, but uh, not more. And then I just put a simple border round. I had a bit of a disaster with it, uh, where it went in a little bit um, and it upset me greatly, but never mind. Um, I got over that, I finished it, I love it. Um, so yes, I think I started it about this time last year and I finished it November, December time. And it was made of my, obviously, of all my leftovers. It meant that I had a free blanket because what else do you do with your leftovers? Now, some of you might say yes, but um, you know, just keep them because you might need that color for something else or you need that color for something else. But there's always going to be more. I mean, I'm looking at my uh, chest of drawers there and there is the harmony that I've nearly finished. So I'm putting together those squares. So there's wool left from that. So there's always going to be more wool left over. And um, yes, it's fine, just keep it. But where do you keep it all? <laughs> um, making an actual blanket gets rid of it, gets it incorporated into a blanket. And you can actually see, um, last year I had this in a bag and I could see the bag go down you know i could see the bag shrink so hopefully <laughs> i'll be able to reduce this stack quite quickly now what am i going to make and i'm going to start it here and now with you okay i have decided and i've been wanting to make this for quite a while this is a lines granny cluster blanket. I have decided to make a never ending granny cluster blanket. Okay, so we'll start in the middle and we'll work our way out. And it will be a big square, but hopefully, <laughs> she says, I'm thinking about it now. Um, it will be, I will make it as big as my double bed. So it will be sort of, you know, the double bed without the pillow bits, you know, so it's the square of the double bed. Um, yes, I will start it here with you now. I will keep going with it. It will be my bed project. So don't expect it to be finished next week. <laughs> um, so it will just live next to my bed. It'll be something that I don't have to think about. I can just pick it up and just easily do a couple of rows or you know, towards the end, do half a row or one row or whatever, or one side. Um, and I think that the rules that I'm going to use, you know, the color rules that what I, you know, came up with here is going to be the same because I don't like just picking up a ball and using it up and then get taking the next ball and using it up. I don't like the blocks of color. I like the the repetition of color. Um, and although this end is much greener than sort of this end, that is exactly what I like to see and what I like to do. So um, I'm going to pick the colors without looking and help me remember, <laughs> I am going to use a 
three and a half. Is it sharp? Is it getting into focus? It's a three and a half. Okay, it is a three and a half. It's a three and a half. Help me remember. <laughs> okay, because for me that's the best uh, best size for this. Uh, wool so yes it's all starcraft special dk that's what i do i only um i try not to buy anything else uh, because of the fact that you can then mix it so okay close my eyes pick a ball go in deep find oh i found a little ball what color is it going to be <gasps> lavender okay we're going to start with that. So here we are. I am going to make a slip knot. I know you're not going to be able to see it, but it's something that I have done in other videos already. Um, you know, you just start a granny square basically and you just keep going. Okay, so a slip knot, four chains one, two, three, four slip stitch into the first chain this is exciting this this little circle is going to keep my whole blanket together very important now one two two or three chains what do you think i always do two chains two chains do what you always do make it easy on yourself into the circle taking away with you your end one double crochet two double crochets so another one <laughs> oh okay so that's my first cluster done one two chains for the corner this is exciting one it doesn't take much to make me happy does it <laughs> okay and another double crochet <laughs> another one two chains three double crochets one two <laughs> three I'm having too much fun doing this one two and one more cluster okay so i now have four clusters of <laughs> four clusters of three double crochets in the corners i have two chains i am now going to close up my round there we go and that ladies and gentlemen is the humble beginnings of my blanket. Okay, let's get some scissors out. And also this would be will be a good blanket for me to do when I'm chatting with you. See, because I don't need to think about it and I can just have my, my box, uh, well, <laughs> my box, my huge box. What shall we do? Do another? blind dip lucky dip okay lucky dip on the top this time well that was my husband sneezing okay this one cloud blue and to be honest it doesn't matter which is the next <clears throat> okay that's on the floor now <laughs> it doesn't matter which is the next color um the colors will come back as well I've read somewhere someone um, it worked with two baskets so this one now went should go in another basket so I've used that and it should go in another basket but um, I'm not going to do that because that means I have to carry around two baskets from my bed to the sofa I'm not going to do that but um, I don't mind doing I'm not going to obviously if they come you know if I pick the blue again then I'm not going to do that but I did do it here where I was in the dark in the car I remember and I um, I put one ah uh, here look I repeated it with another color in between I don't mind that that's fine that's that's good even I you know I like that so yeah that's what we'll do um, not the same color for two rows in a row 
but it's okay if the color comes back in the next after a next color so we're now at the second round of my granny square and I am doing four corners so that means I'm doing three double crochets where is that ball gone <laughs> three double crochets uh, two chains and then you go and do another three double crochets and then you move to the next corner so three double crochets two chains three double crochets and then you do that in the next corner it's just basic granny square um, but I think you know sometimes when your rows get really long it's not so much fun anymore um, but I think because now that I've done this and you're watching me you're keeping an eye on what I'm doing <laughs> um, I'll be okay <laughs> well I'll have to be you're watching me <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> that's all I just, I've just been waiting to do this I've been so busy doing other things lately um, you know after the painting you know my pristine wall here <laughs> um, I've been wanting to get you know to get going again and one day I looked at this and I added to them I finished a blanket and I added uh, them to it and I thought oh this is getting too much in there uh, where's the scissors gone um, and I'm thinking I'll just have to make a blanket so a couple of days it took me a couple of days to think what I wanted to make um, at first I thought oh I'm gonna make solid squares which would have been nice but yes it's okay to make solid squares but then you have to put them together and I want this type of project I want it to be mindless and effortless okay yes there will be long rows but that's just the crocheting um, if I don't want to put it together then it's going to be a task to put it together um, so this will just grow and grow oh no I'm looking in the viewfinder now okay what's this ball oh what is it brown it's a full ball of brown where did I get this okay I've got it I'm using it I've got it in my hand I have to use it okay it's not a color that I will use for I don't I wonder where this came from but it's in my bag with things that I'm not going to use Ooh. so I will use it I will do it it's a lucky dip colors and I'm doing it I'm having too much fun now <laughs> okay so I will keep you posted on this blanket like I said it's going to be my uh, mindless bed project it's also going to be the project what I that I will be doing when I am doing the chats because as we've noticed where's my hook now as we've noticed I cannot ah, I cannot chat and crochet and concentrate at the same time <laughs> um, so I will yeah I think it's nice because I've started it together with you you know that that's what I'm doing um, and you'll be able to keep up with the progress and every time we have a little chat I'll be able to yeah there goes the ball I'll be able to tell you how far I got also looking at it already there's lots of ends um, I will try and keep up with those as well um, what I'm going to do is like before with my blanket here uh, I did sort of like several sessions like for for example a week's worth of sessions and then I did an evening of sewing in the ends and I think that's for me that works the best doing it every row I don't know it just takes I, I find that takes away my crochet time um, but if you for example I have this thing now where every Friday night is from for me personally is crochet night 
and my husband goes to bed a little bit earlier on a Friday because he's working he works on the Saturday and so I've turned that into um, you know into sort of my night so I um, sit up in bed I crochet and I watch Netflix or I watch something on television I have uh, several series that I follow um, and so Friday night is crochet night and catch up night um, for those series but also um, you know anything else that I fancy watching some films or whatever um, and generally it's like one o'clock before I turn off the, ta the you know um. <laughs> but you have to do something I mean it makes it it makes um, I have something to look forward to in the week when you're thinking oh no not another day you know working um, and then I think oh but Friday night I'm gonna crochet uh, do what I want to crochet you know generally um, I keep my personal personal projects for that you know they're not for the, they're not the YouTube projects that I do on a Friday night Friday night is, is sort of my things that I like to do for my personal so yeah Okay, so um, that chat, that quick chat of telling you I was going to start a blanket um, has turned into nearly 18 minutes. <laughs> right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for all the comments. I really appreciate it. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my blanket. <laughs> Uh, let me know what you think of my plan of using up my uh, wool what do you do with your leftover wool do you have a special night that you keep just for yourself and what do you do on that special night do you crochet what are the videos or what are the series that you would like to watch that you like to watch when you're crocheting or what would you like to see or do while you're crocheting let me know okay thank you very much for watching sorry for going on and on about things <laughs> i really enjoy doing these little videos now um you know it might make my channel a little bit different from other channels where they're just doing the tutorials um but i am i'm so wanting to get to know you a little bit better I, I wasn't gonna say anything and it, it was just a, something that crossed my mind a couple of weeks ago what if I did a live video would you like that fire I do you know I don't even know how it works so please let me know if you would like me to do a live video I will have to ask my son or something how it works do I do it on YouTube do I do it on Facebook what shall we do okay shall we do that Ooh, exciting I will if I yeah I'll try and see if I can you know if I can get it organized and how it works and yes obviously I will let you know what time around the world it's going to be and uh, what date and everything will we'll set it all up but yeah exciting okay I'm gonna let you go leave me your comments down in the box below um, I am so appreciative of all your comments sometimes I don't have the time to answer straight away but I do read them all and I do answer them all in batches um, and I am so glad we are getting closer in our my little my little world um, and I want to include all of you in it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>